What's going on guys? So in the last episode, we got the crew and we came over here back to the boat and we started putting on the patches. First, it took a lot of work to clean out the area and get them ready for patches. And then we started putting them on. We had to quit because of the high tide was coming and we weren't gonna have them on there on time. And you know, the epoxy wouldn't dry. Uh, so we're gonna finish that today. So today, we're gonna put the rest of the patches on and then we're going inside the hole and we're gonna put them on again on the inside and bolt them through just sandwiching that hole. They're gonna be stronger than the actual hole, these patches. And then we're gonna wait till like four in the morning when it's real high tide. Okay. We're gonna float this damn boat. So, well, that's the hope at least. So we took the advice of uh, some of you commenters, subscribers, and we went and got some help, some experts. Uh, not gonna try to do this ourselves. Um, and it turns out that was really good advice because they got more done yesterday than uh, me and Elvis and Dexter could have done in like a week. So uh, we're doing awesome. So Alex right now, he's working on the patch that we finished yesterday. It's dried, so he went and sanded the whole thing smooth, and now he's adding another layer of this uh, real hard epoxy. Uh, sand, then put another layer because you don't want to make it like get it dry the whole thing, and then we put another layer that's for the final coat. This is the final coat ready. So this patch is already done. But what I do is already get wet, so what we do, we get it dry. We use the blowtorch, keep it dry, and then after that one, we, we do the second layer too. One first, then after that one, clear, and then the second for the final. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, I doing my job to complete dry because the next... You like fire? Yeah. And... Be, uh, to become a complete dry. Yeah. Second option to put epoxy. Alex put epoxy in these patches. Thank you. Board, how that work? Hey, it's another day. I know it's this one and patches. that one. Yeah. How long did that take you? Uh, early in the afternoon, it's finished. Oh, so, uh, how many today? How many are Japan? How many are Japan? So we got three stages going. One, yeah. the new patch is coming on. Two, the new patch is already done. They're drying it out because the tide just went away. And three, he's already finishing and uh, doing a third coat and all that. So, yeah, they're in a hurry because the water just went down, and they can get it done now. And they want to get everything done and dried before about four or five in the morning when the tide is high again. And then we're gonna float this freaking thing. Yeah, you guys were definitely right about getting a crew to help us. Uh, this is amazing because now we have to go drive to the city and get supplies every time we need something like a broken screwdriver it's like a 20 minute drive so uh before when, when we were doing that we were working and then we'd have to go drive 20 minutes each way uh we we're getting nothing done so now we're gonna run to the city uh we got some meetings and stuff we're gonna get some uh more supplies epoxy whatever and these guys are gonna stay here and work on the boat so yeah i think we're gonna get this thing floating today before we go, we gotta make sure Elvis's taxi is still here. Looks like your ride is uh, still safe. 
Of course, it might be a little bit stranded on the beach right now. <laughs> so how was that ride yesterday? God, it was perfect. We, we didn't know where we were going, but... Saw tons of dolphins. Yeah, so many <laughs> dolphins, like hundreds, <laughs> hundred. So if you guys didn't see yesterday's episode, Elvis and the boat crew took this little tiny boat across the entire strait uh, to this island. And it was a little bit of an adventure, but go watch that episode. While Dexter and Elvis and the boat guys are making measurements for patches, me and Alex ran to our favorite store to go get more plywood and epoxy and uh, all kinds of stuff. So just waiting for them to load the wood now. Oh my God, there's like 40 dudes here. You guys have to do all the work? I didn't know that's what we were waiting for. Hey, you guys. Oh my God. Yeah, buddy, we're getting like the most overkill plywood ever. Santa Clara Marine plywood. Just for the freaking patches. This thing is not gonna leak. Someone was asking what uh, epoxy we're using for the patches. And here it is. We tried out a bunch. And in the end, this is the one that the boat builder just sent us to go get. So, uh, two-part, all-purpose, structural, adhesive, epoxy. So that's what we're using. All right, let's go see how the boys are doing on the boat. Ah, uh, good noon. It's already finished. Five minutes or later. Kumanane, taud taud. Yeah, so they put, they put extra patches over the uh, other ones. So now they're super reinforced and now we're just uh, epoxying it over. My thoughts are these guys are doing much better than I would have done. I am so glad you're over here. This thing is, I, I, I was worried about whether or not the patches were gonna hold. These guys have got these things over patched. I mean, there's no way this thing's gonna go down. Uh, I'm glad they're here. Uh, they took what we couldn't have done and made it look easy. Uh, this. This really make, makes me happy, you know, because I was kind of worried. You know, I thought, well, we can patch it, but can we get it to float all the way across? I think we can now. Uh, I really don't think we have too much to worry about. I think these guys you know, do a really great job and no worries. Yep, so what they did, you guys saw the uh, patch on the front that we were doing earlier. It's totally recessed in, smoothed out, shaved, sanded, everything. They smoothed that out, and they put a whole bunch more epoxy on the outside and put an oversized patch covering that patch. So this thing is super strong. Then that epoxy is drying. They screwed it in, and now they're screwing in the middle, uh, like putting the patches together. So this is really strong. I think they, in their minds, we're floating tomorrow, or tonight when the high tide is. Okay. This is one of our old patches that was still solid. It was above the water line, so it didn't get affected by the worms and the water so much. But they made sure they covered it completely with epoxy, so it was strengthened right up like that. This patch here, there was a hole in it. So they cut it all out. They recessed the plywood back in there and stuff, completely covered it and everything else. They're really making sure every weak spot on this is being covered. Uh, you know, we, we probably would have put a few patches on there and hoped and prayed we made it across, but they're doing a hell of a good job on this. So originally I was kind of worried because the hole goes like this and then like this in the front. I was like, how does the big plywoods curve? But go check this out. When you, when they screw it in along the hole, it just bends automatically. It's pretty awesome. Basically, all of our worries are like going away. These guys know what they're doing, and if they're not worried, I'm not worried. So Alex is also working on these. There's a whole bunch of holes we have to fix later, but they're way above the water line, like four foot or something, I don't know. Um, basically the same concept. 
cut out around the holes and smoothed it out and he can put a patch if he wants. I'm not sure. I have to ask if we're actually going to patch it before we tow it or what. Because as soon as we get home, as soon as we cross that water, which will be a crazy video, really scary for us. As soon as we get it over there on the other island, this is all getting ripped off again. All of it, not just the patches. We're going to reskin this whole damn boat and make it while well, we have the skin off. The entire skin, uh, all the plywood. I'm going to go in there and sand all the old uh, paint, whatever. I'm going to water, pressure wash it out the inside. Just do everything while it's all open like that. And then I'm going to recoat the entire uh, structure, the body of this thing, and just make it completely sealed from the elements. The wood is already really solid, but it's going to last forever. And then we'll put the skin back on, the new one. And after that, we're talking about fiber lining it, which is a big job, but I think we gotta do it. So I think it's working on another one right now. This is a big one, Alex. Yeah. So are we putting a patch here before uh, we- Yeah, yeah. Before this we... one no need. This one, because the, the water not going inside to the, this one should be very important. Yeah. The water will go so in. we'll we'll patch this one because it'll hit some big waves. Sure. Uh, there's some big holes. Yeah. And this one no need. Yeah. And then we'll see tonight yeah. if the tide is high enough to float this thing. Yeah, yeah. Some of these nails, not the nails for the patches they use, but the nails, the original nails, are actually really really good. They're galvanized steel, square body awesome condition it's cool taking apart a boat and seeing what worked and what don't work yeah check out this nail these little square body i don't think you're gonna see that on the camera but uh really really good condition still awesome so it just reinforces the, our belief that this was really, really uh, built right. And we don't have any rod or structural damage. We just gotta skin this thing. And we'll be in this boat way, way less money than buying or building a new one. Will, will it float? Yeah. Why? Tomorrow. We'll tomorrow <laughs> it will float tomorrow tomorrow I will try but it will it will be float because the patches is already finished nice uh, very good job I will see it tomorrow Abangan. maybe tomorrow early in the morning I check this patches if the patches is not go inside the water and then Maybe right. afternoon, uh, 8 o'clock, go home and it grows. It's still basically break. It interacts with the seawater. Yeah. Yeah. Play fit? After. Yeah. Or delete fit? Try fit. We will fix it. Is we will have to cut. Yeah. Very, very nice. You can see? Yeah. It's still solid. Having fun? Yeah. yeah. This one, no need to clap. Only this one here. Only this one to clean. Yeah. Uh, because this one, the water doesn't go down. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't go down in there. Yeah. That's going inside. So it's not going inside. So this, this must be either where the rudder goes, where that wood is, right? Oh, yeah. Rudder goes yeah. up yeah. in there? Yeah. Because that is for a water inlet for the exhaust. Right? Yeah, yeah. This one is for itself. This yeah. one. we got to make sure that that water doesn't go up in because I took that exhaust off. Yeah. So we have
got to get to work because uh, we've been driving around and uh, look at this, this is a freaking rat's nest. Holy! It's a bird's nest. <sighs> yeah, these guys are making me look bad because they work so hard. So I gotta, I gotta show them what, show them what's up, yo. Show them who's boss. I'm the boss. Stupid. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Judea, you're the boss. So Judea is over in Dowan at the shop. She's running the shop with uh, with our the rest of our crew because we have divers right now, fun divers, photographers, and we have two open water students that started today and pretty much every day. There's a ton of business and diving going on at Critter Republic. Uh, it, I know it doesn't look like it because I'm, I'm here playing on a boat. Uh, so it's hard to see what's actually going on at the shop. Uh, but maybe I'll put some photos up right now. We just got a whole bunch of new uh, BCDs. We're gonna go for backplate only for our students and our rentals. No more big jacket styles. We're gonna start teaching and backplate and donut wing style BCDs, uh, even from open water, not just deck diving. So yeah, we just got a bunch of those in the shop today and our intern Misty, who we'll talk about later. She's there with the instructor. Uh, assembling those and learning how those work so yeah busy times thank god i got judea the wifey uh to manage the office because i don't think i don't think she would let me come play if not so this is what i'm doing just getting this old plywood off of uh the frame right now so that we can smooth it out and uh, glue up the, the new patches and it's got a flat surface to uh, hold on to. Uh, so we have to take these old ties off and replace them because there's a, a typhoon coming on Monday. So Alex is an absolute animal. It's very strong. Very, very strong. And humble, look at you. We're humble. Oh, very good. And I give you a cigarette for Alex. Is that like a board? Can I switch? Okay, then. I got one done. Oh. Starting on the next one now. So guys, after we get these things tied, we're gonna wait until high tide, which is later tonight. And then we'll see how the boat is doing, if it's floating, you know, how the patches are working. So stay tuned, we'll see you then. All right guys, we're gonna call that a night. Uh, all the patches are in and ready and we just gotta wait for the high tide. It's gonna be like five in the morning tomorrow. And it's high tide is only 1.6 meters, so we don't know if that's gonna be high enough to float this, enough to get over the reef, the sandbar, but we're gonna find out in the morning. So that'll be tomorrow's video. And then, I don't even know, it's gonna be crazy. We gotta, we gotta get this thing prepared to tow it all the way back to the other island. It's gonna be really scary. But I just wanna say thank you guys especially to you new members there's a lot of new members lately and uh yeah this has been a crazy journey the last few years i was just making a video with alex for uh our members only videos that we do and we were talking about how we just met three four years ago when we during the pandemic we were just uh uh we, we were just driving around in his little car trying not to get caught sneaking into dive sites you know, even though there's a lockdown and nobody's supposed to be there, we're the only ones on all the reefs. I didn't even have a car. I just had dive gear. He had his little truck and we went. And then now he's my head dive master where we got a resort, we got uh, trucks, gear, staff, and now we got a boat. So it's an emotional, emotional roller coaster. I can't see where, you know, my team, Elvis team is growing uh, all the time. I can't see, I can't wait to see where it takes us. So 
Enough of that uh, sentimental junk. Let's wait for high tide. We got a lot done today. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully floating.